So to work out fractional amounts of his our worksheet, so here's an example here, you've got three quarters of 64. 64 is called the question. So we get 64, we divide it by the bottom number of the fraction, which is 4, and then we multiply it by the top number. That is how we work our fractional amounts off. So we haven't finished this one yet. So let's move on. Let's pass. So 64 divided by 4 gives us an answer of? 16. And then we have 16. Copy down the time by 3. That gives us an answer of? 48. 48. And that is the final answer for that question. Okay, 40. That's us showing the question, what the question means, how we set it out, and everything else. Do you know when we have to write, um, you have to divide by the bottom and times by the number. You have to write for every question. You, as long as you, once you write down for, on the main, on the top of the page, once, <coughs> and the rest of you should just do the calculations. So we'll do that for now for the next question. Okay, now we need to get rid of all of this. Okay, right, let's get let's go select. Okay, and let's uh, to the right. Can we fill it in? Now it's starting to fill it. Okay, then. Whoa, okay, let's go to five. It doesn't work like that, never mind. Right, we've got a new question. New page. Okay, right. Next question. So we have now, we've got to work out, say, Five, six, half, three hundred and sixty. That's the next question. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna start off with the three sixty. Starts with the three sixty first of all, and then we divide it by the bottom number six, and then we times it by the five. So you can set it out like this. So three hundred sixty divided by six is equal to sixty. And then we times it by 5, mm. so that will give us an answer of 300. So that's the calculation you need to do. Question, setting it all out, we're dividing by the bottom, multiplying by the top. Let's do another question, one more question. So for example, we have now, okay, 4, twelve hundred. So what do we do? Where do we start the question? So we start the question with 1200 divided by 5 and then multiplied by 4. So 1200 divided by 5, how do you look at 1200 divided by 5? It's like dividing by 10 and then dividing by 2. Excellent. 1200 divided by 10 is 120, 120 divided by 2 is 60. 60 times 4. 60 times by 4 is? Does it doesn't matter the same answer. The question is different. Calculation is different. It doesn't matter the answer. Okay, are we happy with those now, yes? Yes, sir. Okay, if you go back to the original question, if I can load the original question for you, paper. Okay, right. Now, I'm going to use some questions I would like you to try for me, please. I want you to do for me. Uh, okay, I can't write on this particular page as it stands at the moment. So, can you circle this for me, please? One third of 42. Circle that one. one third of 42. 42. One sixth of 72. One third of 42. One sixth of 72. Can you repeat again? Yeah, one third of 42. Look, look, at, the, look at the screen. One third of 42. Yeah, look at the screen here. Yeah. 42, 72. Now three quarters of one eighty. Three quarters of one eighty. And then three uh, then we're doing four sevenths of forty nine. Okay, off you go. You do those questions now, let's pause the video. Okay, back to record more for this question I gave you for, for classwork. One third of forty two means we're gonna do forty two divided by the bottom number times it by the top number. What does that give us folks? Forty. Done. One sixth of seventy two means seventy two divided by the bottom number six and time by top number one. This gives us twelve. Three quarters of one hundred eighty is one hundred eighty. We divide it by the bottom number four and then we multiply it by the top number, which is three. So that gives us an answer of total answer one hundred thirty five. Thank okay. you. 
Okay, next last one is going to be 49 divided by 7 times by 4. That gives an answer of? Well done, folks. Excellent. So we understand how to do fractional management. That's the end of that video then. The rest of those questions you have to do for homework. Do you know this method?